Isaiah chapter 47 corresponds to 2 uh, Corinthians. 2 Corinthians, the 47th book of the Bible. Come down and sit in the dust. Now, this is judgment upon Babylon. And to come down ain't me. Come here. Come. That means down. Get down. Destruction. Dust would be the, its own city. O virgin daughter of Babylon. <clears throat> Sit on the ground. That's Lamentations for the Jew. The book of Lamentations written by Jeremiah is the destruction of Jerusalem and Judah. Jeremiah sits back and writes the horror and the terrors of what Babylon has done. And Babylon is used by God cursing Israel. And God said to anybody that curses Israel, you're going to be cursed. Here it comes. Here comes the round. And what you're going to see is a repeat of the lamentations of Judah upon the people that made the lamentations of Judah. Babylon. Don't mess with Israel. Number two. Don't mess with the child of God. Because when you mess with Israel, you're messing with God, the husband of Israel. Israel is the bride of God. God is the husband of Israel. Don't mess with them. He says in the word, I will curse you that curse them. Israel. Don't mess with the, with the Christian, the child of God, because God is their father. <clears throat> compared to the children who are not like God. <clears throat> and I apologize for my throat. Because their father is the father of the devil. There is no throne. No rulership. O daughter of the Chaldeans. For thou shalt no more be called tender. <coughs> I apologize. And delicate. Pray for me. Babylon was in splendor. The hanging gardens were one of the, the seven wonders of the world. Take the millstones. First time that word shows up. And grind meal. Make flour. Uncover thy locks, the hair. Take off. Make bare the legs. That leg is the only time that shows up in the Bible right there. That's what America does. America's got the women that, that I don't buy it, but come down to Daytona Beach. Right now we're in spring break. <laughs> don't go to Daytona Beach because you're going to see more than bare legs. Uncover the thigh. There's America. Go a little higher. They got a thing today, and I guarantee it's, being, it's called thongs. I'm not even going to describe it. But the thighs and the legs are uncovered. And other disgusting things. Pass over the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Now, this is a sign of shame and judgment. <coughs> In America, it's a sign of pleasure and sex. Yea, thy shame, it's not a shame in America, shall be seen. I will take vengeance, God speaks. I will not meet thee as a man. In other words, a man, you know, you can. And you can appease a man with gifts, money, promises, but not God. That's the loving God. That's the long-suffering God. <coughs> he says, <to> <coughs> <coughs> he 
It says to a nation. Vengeance. God's a holy and righteous God, too. Not only a God of love. As for our Redeemer, Isaiah speaking, our Redeemer, Isaiah speaking, the Lord of hosts is his name, the Holy One of Israel. That's the that's your God. Your God's not the Holy One of Israel. That's not the God of you got the you you got <clears throat> holy <clears throat> one. I'm not coughing there. <laughs> holy one of Italy? That ain't it. You got the holy one of <clears throat> Islam? <clears throat> I'm not coughing. That's not God. You got the holy one of India? I read today or yesterday. Now I know I knew you call them Indians over there. Over here, they're Native American. I knew that the Indians, when a when a cow pees, they stick their head in the pee. That's sacred. I read today with COVID nineteen that they're over there. Not only they're sticking their head in the cow pee, but they're also drinking the cow pee as a thing for COVID nineteen. That's not the Holy One of Israel. <clears throat> Again, forgive me. Sit down silent. Get thee into darkness. Jesus is the light. Again, <laughs> I apologize. O door to Chaldeans. But thou shalt no more be called the Lady of Kingdoms. I was wrong, God speaks, with my people Israel. I have polluted my inheritance, the land. That's why he sent <coughs> Babylon to conquer Judah. God was angry with the, with the Jews. And giving them into thy hand to Babylon. Babylon, hey, Israel's is sinned against me. I need someone to chastise them. Babylon says, hey, I'll do it. And God says, okay, that's fine. Go do it. But I said, don't curse my people. I'll curse you. Don't you try to correct a Christian. When... Again, I apologize. I'm trying to breathe. I'm trying not to go. Don't you don't you try to correct a Christian when you're not a Christian. Let God do it. Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. I will repay. Babylon should have told God, Israel not behaving themselves. Oh God, you writ somewhere something about don't touch them, don't don't curse them. <laughs> Sorry, we pass. We pass. Thou drew, thou didst show them no mercy, Babylon. Upon the ancient hast thou very heavily laid thy yoke. I mean, Israel. I mean, Israel, Judah was just mistreated, and the Babylonians no mercy at all. They were fierce. Thou says, I shall be a lady forever, Babylon. So thou, so that thou dost not lay these things to thy heart. Here comes America. News did remember thy latter end of it. Therefore hear now thus. Thou art given to pleasures. There's America. There she is. That dwelleth carelessly. First time that word shows up. There's America. That saith in thy heart, I am. America, and there's none else besides me. There's no other country like America. Don't everybody come to America? How, when was the last time you saw people go into other countries? They all come to America. Excuse me, Mr. Preacher. I know a lot of people who left America and went to countries. They're called missionaries. Some of those missionaries make their life and become citizens of the countries where they've been. Some do, some don't. If God does not pass judgment upon America, you know God's got to call every Babylonian now at this point in time? 
He's got to call every Babylonian. He's going to say, okay, everyone here from Babylonia? From the time of King Nebuchadnezzar, when he destroyed Judah, to the destruction of Babylon, everyone here? All right, I've got to apologize. You see, you know, I destroyed you guys. I cast my vengeance upon you, and I didn't touch America at all. As God Almighty, the, the Holy One of Israel, I've got to apologize to all you Babylonians. And God is not going to do that. Well, God hasn't done nothing in America. He's long-suffering. He's long-suffering. And I'm telling you right now, with, with the lad to see in church age, if the Lord tarries, as years go, go as, or as years come, you're going to lose your street preachers. I'm talking about the good ones. I'm talking about the old-fashioned hellfire street preachers. You're going to lose those preachers. You're going to lose the men that believe and honor the King James Bible as the years go by. And you're going to end up the spineless, childless, <coughs> panty waist Christians. If the Lord tarries. <coughs> Again, forgive me. You're going to lose the praying Christians. You realize what's keeping America floating in England and the nations today? There are Christians praying. I, I have missionaries I support with money, and I have missionaries I support with prayer. All over the world. America needs to take a listen. I am none beside me. I shall not sit as a widow. Neither shall I know the loss of children. You know realize America right now is loss of children? Abortion is legal. But two things shall come upon thee in a moment, in one day. The loss of children. That happens. They're being aborted. They're shooting each other in the schools. They're giving over the crime. And the widowhood. You know, David had some wives that he left in Absalom. When he came back, he, he shut them up in widowhood. And the husband wasn't, David wasn't dead. And you got women today. But they've got children, but they've never been married. And those children will never know who their father is. I'm looking for a wife, and I, I got a couple date apps I'm using. And I'm not paying for them. I just look at them. I'm amazed. Children, they live at home, married, never married. And I see that quite frequently. How the children are going to know God as a father when they don't even know God, who their parent is? They shall come upon thee in a, their perfection of the multitude of thy sorceries. There's America. There's America in the churches. Harry Potter is, is very famous among Christian young children. And I am talking about, I know this for a fact, Christian children who are there, who in the family of, of, the, of their dad or grandpa, is a pastor of a church. And I got one church in particular in mind. Now the children are all grown up, but at the time I was a, I was attending of that church, I was a member of that church. I know one of the grandchildren, they were involved in the movies and the books of Harry Potter. While the grandpa got in the pulpit and preached. I don't take much stock in you, man. Because listen, if you can't control your home, the Bible says. It was about that time I was going through when Harry Potter first came. I was looking all they all like the movies. They all like the books. We, if we, 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 I got a Christian man at me today. There are more people interested in the magic kingdom of Disney, Disney, than they are the kingdom of heaven. And I forgot that guy called me some kind of legalist. I must have kicked a bone that time. Magic Kingdom? Sorceries? 
You know, every every paper, as far as I know in America today, will put a horoscope in it. When was the last time you picked up a paper where they had a sermon from a King James preacher? I know that I know there's I know there's Baptist magazines and books out there. Yeah, and they're non King James sorcerers, and for the great abundance of thy enchantments, witchcraft, yin yang, yoga, prayer mats, meditation. Listen, I was doing meditation in school and I realized what I was doing. Let's have a moment of silence. For what? Well, what was that? That's what's being taught in the schools today. And I don't hear the I don't hear the preacher standing up and say, oh, get, you know, get rid of that. I know a preacher's daughter right now is involved in uh, yoga. That's that's what God speaking to God says. I hate that. You know, they are praying towards Mecca. They are praying on, on, on prayer mats. They are meditating in the public school systems, but they're taking away Yosemite Sam. They're taking away green ha eggs and ham. You know, uh, you know, Dr. Seuss, who was having an affair with a woman while his wife was dying of cancer. While she was in a state of despair and anxiety. That's the kind of person you stay. Oh, that's right. You want a leader of a nation who's been divorced three times and bankrupt six. Okay, I know where I know where your mindset is. I'm telling you right now, in the pulpits of the world today of the Baptist Church, this magic is in the families of the pastors. I know that for a fact. Check the Facebooks. Check the books they like. Check the movies they like. You can go and you can open up a person's thing. You can look at it and see what they like and what they. The magic world of Oz. For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness. Hey, there's America. And thou hast said, None seeth me. Thy wisdom and thy knowledge, there's America, has prevented thee, perverted thee, excuse me, has, has perverted thee. What's the wisdom and knowledge of America? We came from apes. Sex education. The sex education of America produces the abortion clinics. Because what, I mean, you're going to teach those kids about sex, they're going to go home and have homework. Imagine America, I can't believe you got 15-year-old girls having babies. And then you take those babies and you try to you hand them over to Pharaoh and Herod to take care of them. You won't hand them over to Pua, and, and I can't think of her other name. Foolish on me for th not th knowing the other name. Foolish on me, forgive me, Lord God. Thou hast said in thy heart, I am. God, yes, Moses. What shall I tell the, tell the Israelites your name? Because they're going to ask what your name is. You tell them, I am that I am sent you. Got it. And that's all capitalized. America stands up. I am. We are our own God. Women walk around in America with sign. Keep your laws off my body. We got rights. Voting. Guns. It's Miller time. We're number one. I'm proud to be American. Come on, congregation, get up and pledge allegiance to the cloth of idolatry. 
sing from Purple Majesty, from C to Signing G, and you're too stupid to realize in America it's called an ocean. <laughs> We stand on the same pride of Babylon. We even have the Babylonian gods in our worship. Babylon fell. So will America. And we'll be coming up, I don't know, well, hopefully coming up to Jeremiah, we're going to get a little Babylonian in there. But when we get to Ezekiel, Ezekiel's in Babylon preaching. Damn! America thinks they're gods. And there's none else beside me. There's no other nation greater than America. And you hear that out of the pulpits. Yeah, I can go on, I can go, go on YouTube and I can Google. Show me Chinese people when, where a box of Bibles have been snuck in in the underground church where they don't meet in a building. And I'll watch a video of the Chinese open up those Bibles. They are in tears. They grab those Bibles and they hug them. They kiss it. They love it. And it's not the, I'm so glad to have the word of God. And there'll be videos of Russian soldiers. They'll take their Bibles out of a plastic bag and put it down. Open your Bibles, Isaiah 48. They'll treat those pages. Don't want to rip it. Now, the Bible is not a God, but it's very close to God. In America, <clears throat> right across the basketball court, Open Door Baptist Church, Stony Creek, Connecticut. Watch, watch the pastor's kids take them. Let's start naming names now. Take the Bibles and skim it across the basketball court. Ledger, Connecticut. You watched the Bible sliding off the rooftop of the cars. And I forget what the name of that road is. Fair Greens, Fair something in the road. Pastor walks inside the church. I forgot my Bible. Christians walk in church, they don't have a Bible. And then you got all kinds of many different crap Bibles out there. I like my NIV. I like my living Bible. Oh yeah, the SOB? Therefore shall evil come upon thee. That's Babylon. That'd be America. And shall not know from whence it rises. <laughs> You know, the, the night that Babylon was taken over, Belt Sizer was drunk as a skunk. They rerouted the river and came under the city walls. According to that passage there, the prophecy of Babylon, let me give you two sayings. Belt Sizer was drunk as a skunk and he never knew what even hit him. That guy woke up in hell at What? Well, where's my kingdom? What happened? Though he's warned by Daniel. There are people that we preach to, we pass out gospel tracts, and they wake up in hell. What? It's a... well, what? You didn't listen to the preacher. Mischief shall fall upon thee. Thou shalt not be able <coughs> to put up. You won't be able to. You can't buy your way out. You can't get your way out. You can't work your way out. You can't army your way out. Desolation shall come upon thee suddenly. <laughs> and for Belsizer, it's so sudden. You realize nobody realized in Babylon that the river has been, the water got lower and lower. They rerouted the whole river and nobody in Babylon noticed. 
They didn't realize there's an army out there digging a trench. Do you realize right now in America it could be setting up right now for the judgment of God that's in our 50 states right now? You know, we have Islam. We have the Catholic, you know, Catholics are known for killing Christians. You do know that. We got the Islam, they kill. We've got the Catholic, they kill. We got the Mormons, you know, they killed. We got enemies of this country in our borders, and they kill. And one guy, maybe, maybe, maybe one day God's going to call. Okay, go ahead. Release your fury. Satan, go ahead and do what you want to do. And you know how the Christians are going to be marked if that day happens? Just go to Yellow Pages, look up Baptist Church. And they'll even tell you they meet Sunday morning at 10 a.m. That doesn't happen in the ground churches. Stand now with thy enchantments. Nebuchadnezzar and Belsizer called all the magicians, astrologers, and all that couldn't answer God's dreams. And with the multitude thy sorceries. With the multitude of thy sorceries. Wherein thou hast labored from thy youth. <laughs> A very young child. That's the public school system in America. If so be thou shalt be able to profit. Make money off it. If so be thou mayest prevail. We're, we're the best. We're number one. And we're going to do great. With the devil's ways. Thou art wearied. In a multitude I counsel. There's all kinds of counselors. There's all kinds of shrinks and psychologists and marriage counselors and from sea to sign you see, which is oceans. Christian counselors, how to books, how to be good, how to make yourself happy, the proper prayer life. Listen, we were at Book of Millions the other day. I'm not ragging a book of bill. I, I love that stuff. You know, just, just looking around, just really self-help books and make yourself feel good and meditation. And it just that's counseling. You can go to a book like that and almost find a book for anything you want to do. And reach any purpose, any God. But now the astrologers, that's the first time that word shows up. The stargazers, your horoscopes. Stargazers. Those are ones that came with Isaiah. I think it was Hezekiah. Was it Hezekiah? The shadow of the, of the, of the, of the sundial going back 10 degrees. Babylon, hey! What happened to the heavens? You know, the whole heavens change time. You know, we just had time change Sunday. But God changed the whole universe by, by 10 degrees. And the, where did the Babylonians run to? They ran to Jerusalem. What did your God do? They didn't run to the, they didn't run to the Aztecs. They didn't run to the cow gods. They didn't run to, to you know, the, the European gods. They didn't run to the African gods. They ran to the God of Jerusalem, said, hey, we saw the universe change 10 degrees. What'd your God do? I bet you they knew more about Pluto than we know about Pluto.
These are the same people. There's a star up there. It hasn't been up there before. Hey, as we move east, it's moving. We're moving east. It's moving too. Oh, come on, guys. Get out of here. We're only going to have three of us. Come on. You don't, you don't know what the future hymns are. There's only supposed to be three of us. Go on. Baby blankets. No, no, ain't no baby blanket. It's supposed to be gold and myrrh and frankincense. So you don't need blank. You know, you don't know what the hymns are. We three kings of Orient Point. You guys got to go home. <laughs> we never said three. And they looked to the heavens. They said, there's a star. We didn't recognize that star. And it's not so bad for astrology. The fact is, you know, they, they, they recognize Orion. They recognize the Big Dipper. They recognize the Little Dipper. They recognize the times, the seasons. And these guys would probably say, they come to a, a, a Mr. Astrologer, a good scent to the astrology. Hey, listen, I, I plant wheat. According to the stars of the heaven, the farmer's automatic. When is the proper time for me to plant my wheat? And they looked at the heavens. They looked at the seasons. That's what that, that, and this is not so magic. It's, this is found in Genesis chapter one, where God gave the sun, the moon, and stars for times, seasons, and. Charlotte, they would probably tell you the weather too. Or at least try to predict the weather. Stargazers and monthly per, Pro, that, that, you see that word there, verse 13. Stand up! Save thee from these things that shall come upon. You guys don't even see the destruction coming with all the... And even Jesus said that. You, you, the, the, the sky is red in the morning, the, the sky is red in the night, but you don't even know the signs of the times. You know, you look forward to Calvary ever since the Old Testament, even though you're living the Old Testament with Jesus Christ, and you don't even know the signs of the times. America don't know what the signs of the times. England doesn't know the signs. Christians don't know the signs. Now the end is coming. You don't know that. We may have five minutes or we may have five years or five centuries. We don't. We have no idea. Behold, they shall be as stubble, burns up, weed. Fire shall burn them. They shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. Hell. The fire of the enemy burning. There shall not be a coal to warm at. The fire is going to destroy all the coal. Not even a piece of coal will be left. I guess I'll have to call Santa Claus for because the, they're bad. Mr. Santa Claus, yeah, we've been bad. Can you bring us some coal? Get on that wagon. Come on down. Ho, 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 ho. Nor fire to sit before it. So all their fuel resources of coal is going to be destroyed by the enemy. So when it comes time to be cold, they ain't got nothing for fire. Thus shall they be unto thee with whom thou hast labored. Even thy merchants, everybody that deals with them, businessmen from, the, from thy youth. They shall wander every one to his quarter, housing, and none shall save thee. And Babylon will be destroyed. And no, none. You know, what about all? What about all the the people that brought us wool? Well, can't make money there no more. Let's go find somewhere else. What about all the people that brought us wood? Well, there ain't no money there no more. Move somewhere else. What about the people that sold us our Babylonian idols and image? I guess that God didn't help them throw that in the fire. 
You know what America is going to realize when God passes her judgment? Where's England? You realize the, the, the wars that we've had, the Revolutionary War, the Civil War, no other nation helped us. And yet when there's wars all over the planet, there are, we step in. We're the savior of the world. And when God calls his vengeance on America for all the murders, and you lock up the murderers and you keep them alive for 5 to 10 to 15 to 20 years, with all the blood that is being shed by abortion, by closing her churches, by persecuting her children of God, and jailing those and, and trying to shut those up that, that preach the word of God. I know what kind of words will be for them one day. Their name, their name. Why persecute thou me? The man that tries to shut us up, the vendors that try to shut us up, at the farmer's market, their name. Why persecutest thou me? I ain't persecuting you, Lord. I'm persecuting that idiot who preaches. Yeah, that's my child. He's mine. I love his beautiful feet that bring the gospel. Why persecutest thou me? America's going to get it. Babylon got it. If America don't get it, America is, is, is copycat of Babylon. God will have to call every Babylonian and say, I apologize. And God is not apologizing to sinners. No way, no shape, no form. 